Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here with another episode of Minecraft Story Mode. So episode 2 got stealth released yesterday, um, I wasn't able to play it yesterday as it still wasn't available for me. So I'm recording it today um, and getting it uploaded whenever, I'm not sure yet, probably this evening. Um, so I'll see how it goes, so this evening being Thursday, I th no Wednesday I think, so uh, yeah. I think we'll give this a go, play the first kind of like 15-20 minutes of it, uh, get a feel for the new episode, and uh, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's start up episode 2. Assembly required. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Okay guys, so it looks like we're back in the nether with Olivia, heading towards, uh, trying to find the redstone engineer, which was the choice we made in episode one. This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get to Eligard to get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! Oh, more gas. My favorite mob in the game. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, wow. So looks like we're running away from gas for the first part of the episode. Oh, the tracks. Uh, what do we do? Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Um, so what do we want to do? We probably want the sword. Um, so yeah, definitely want the sword. So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Can we go try and deflect the uh, deflect, deflect the shots back at it, which is the uh, the idea. Uh, or do we want to? Let's try the bow, actually. Oh, ow. Can Keyword. I kill it? Oh, wow, I actually killed it. Wow, awesome. So the bow did work. Maybe we should have tried that the first time. That's pretty cool. A little bit of combat there to start off the episode. At least we managed to rescue the minecarts. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. Into the minecarts. I never doubted you for a second, but, but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow, who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing? You know, to help us? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So we completed uh, part one of episode two by the looks of things. Never say die. That was nice and quick. It took me five minutes to get the first achievement. That wasn't long at all. But we're about to uh, get our first glimpse of uh, Redstonia. It's on the same lines as something like Minecraft here. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. 
We've got a bridge coming out of the ground to meet us. So we've got all the credits here, basically. So I can talk over this. So, uh, yeah, this is obviously Redstone here. So lots and lots of Redstone engineering. Not something that I've ever been particularly good at when it comes to Minecraft, but... Uh, some people, some people are awesome with it. I like the people that can build like calculators and PCs and stuff with it. They, I take my hat off to them. But uh, Jesse, there she is. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Okay, so we've obviously got to try and stop her before she goes into her, like, dome of contemplation. Okay, too late. She's already gone into a dome of contemplation. We're not getting to her anytime yes, soon, then. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. And the stairs are disappearing. Of course they are. Because redstone. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligar, but I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. <laughs> no, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? Um... We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Um... Of course, you might also want to hang on. No, I'd rather hang on to it personally. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Okay, looks like we might have to build our own redstone repeater then. Repeater. Okay, right. Olivia, you know. Just because you've got the feminine version of my name doesn't mean you can take all of my lines. God's sake. So I honestly can't remember how you actually make a redstone repeater, so it looks like we've got to explore this whole area. Ooh, a flying machine. What does this do? Uh, use? Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. So high. Going so very high. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spend ages on it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's open the chest here. Might be a good idea. What does look at do? Now that she's uh, exploring the skies, I assume she wouldn't mind me looking through her stuff. Well, clearly, you know, find his keepers and all that. So let's see what we can find. Stone jackpot. Yeah, we definitely need stone. Anything else around here before I move on? We've got a uh, sugarcane farm. Oh man, I bet you could make a lot of cookies with all that. <laughs> Level with me. Do you just make cookies like all the time? <laughs> I, I might make a cookie or two. Yeah, you do. Oh, I love cookies. Auto farmer. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. 
Apparently, I accidentally oh. sent some poor woman into the air. <laughs> um. <laughs> She's the one with the dream of flying. And the one with the paralyzing fear of heights. Well, I think it's what she wanted. <laughs> anyway. Poor woman. Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Um. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Um, I could do with those redstone torches. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege, so I'll be intimidated. <laughs> well, it's not working. Um, I'm just gonna leave. Keep going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. So I've got to distract her and. Nuts with that. Yeah, I can see that. So I think Listen, the way I'm going to distract her. About that whole Ooh. situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Okay, so the other way around. I thought I was going to have to distract her with the cows, but it turns out I can just, you know, sort out the cow situation and um, a cow pult. That's pretty crazy. There's Olivia. So we've obviously got to collect all the materials needed for a redstone repeater. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Yeah, I don't want to, like, steal this guy's stuff, so, uh... Hi there. I don't know who's old man is. What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Um... Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. Um. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry, none of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Never mind. I like um, this part. Here, have some redstone dust. That'll do. Dust we just a Oop. strange man. Cool. Okay, so we've managed to actually, uh, can I open this guy's chest? Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. So the guy gave me some redstone, so we've got to sort out this cow pult, I think? Let's have a quick look at it, see what it does. Can't help but notice you checking out my cow pult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> <laughs> Poor Reuben. Oh, believe me, he'll love it. Um, it's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't want. Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a <laughs> game of Super Pig. Poor Reuben. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Is there any way I can like disable it? Can I use it? You've just managed to catapult the cow for no apparent reason. So somehow I gotta like break this, and I have no idea why. Uh, I, I have no idea how. I should say. Maybe we should try and talk to Mabel. Hello there. I uh... welcome to Mabel's mighty catapult. Make your cow soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed. Be um... astounded. Hey, that farmer over there sent me the one with all the sugar cane. Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cow pulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Um, definitely those poor cows. Look at those poor cows. <laughs> Please, they love it. Probably. I'm I'm fairly sure they uh, do not love it. Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out. And what do you have here? 
You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a flying. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so at least I've started the episode, so I'm probably going to leave it here for now. And then at the beginning of the next episode, we will definitely try and uh, sort out this cow pult and uh, get the redstone torches from the auto farmer. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it here for now. So as always, guys, don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>